Hey, what's up everyone? So as some of you already know, I ended up ordering a 2017 Ford Transit 250 van and I have a plan to make a moto, camper, hauler, adventure van out of it. So I'm super excited. I waited about three months for them to build it and it's finally here. I've put just under a thousand miles on it so far. So I've already got a, a decent idea of how it drives, how it handles, all that good stuff. Uh, I just recently took a trip out to the west side of Michigan to hang out with EN187 and mob through downtown Grand Rapids. Uh, the van worked great. It was so nice just throwing a bike in there knowing that it's all secure and enclosed, sealed off to the weather. So I did a short little test run with that. I've still got a lot of work to do on the inside. But anyway, what I'm getting at here is I am going to make this my introduction to the Moto Van build series. This is going to be an ongoing build series. I'm sure I'll never be completely finished with the van. I'll always be making modifications, adding things, taking things out, you know, to make it make it as best as possible. And that'll all change as my own needs with the van change. A lot of you have already seen Cycle Cruises, or now he has another channel, uh, Bug Out Moto. He did a build series on one of his vans, and if you haven't checked it out already, definitely go check out his channel. He's given me a lot of inspiration for what I want to do with this. As I make modifications, I'll be doing videos on how I make it. I'm going to try and make it pretty in-depth. You know, if, if other people want to do the same thing or something similar with a different vehicle, uh, I want to provide good info. So if you're not the most mechanically inclined person, you've never built anything before, that there's a possibility you could learn a lot from the videos and be able to do it yourself. So I'll start by doing a little tour of the inside of the van. You've already pretty much seen the outside. Uh, I'm in love with the interior. You know, most vans you kind of think of their, I guess, <laughs> kind of the ugly inside. They've got that old creeper van feel, but this has incredibly nice interior up here in the driver's seat. Um, it's it's a very new finish. It's it's almost identical to many of Ford's new vehicle, new other new vehicles, I should say. Um, yeah, it's got a really, really modern dash, really nice feel to it. Uh, so you, you don't feel like you're in some old beat up creeper van. <laughs> so that's that's really awesome, I love that. They got tons of storage, huge compartments in the doors, really big compartments up there for uh, carrying stuff. So there's the driver's seat, it's a little dirty. As I said, I have already gone on some adventures with it, so. It's gotten use and it's hard to keep it clean when it is my daily driver also besides the bike. So we got the same deal on the passenger side. Again, super nice interior. Absolutely loving it. Uh, all I've done so far is put in these floor mats for the front just to protect the, the stock vinyl a little bit. So in addition to the driver and passenger door, there's also a passenger sliding door, which is awesome super nice door set up it opens all the way so as you see you've got this clear line here from uh, the edge of the door you don't lose any any space in this opening here for moving stuff in and out that's a super nice feature we have these nice nice doors here opens both sides oops so what I absolutely love about this is you can open it like this just normal but one of the cool features is you have these buttons here, so you can actually lock the door. Now what that prevents it from doing is swinging more open or closed. So if you had to, you could drive with these open. And then the other awesome thing, if you slide it to the left to this unlock, you can actually swing the door all the way around. So I find that really nice when you're loading the bikes. You're not worried if you tip over that you're gonna slam into the door and you know put a hole in the window or something. So both of the doors do that, swing open all the way, and then they've got nice magnetic bumpers in there so you don't end up hitting the side of the door. Some of the features that I ordered with the van that don't come standard is I got a 3.31 limited slip differential. I ended up getting a built-in trailer brake controller and these four auxiliary switches. So what I'll probably end up doing with these is I'll make one for a water pump so I can do a bike wash. Uh, I might do, you know, some nice fancy LED strip lights just for the cargo area, make it a little cool, romantic, whatever. 
and who knows what I'll do with other of these. Maybe a reverse light bar or something just so it's easier to back up. But I have the option of wiring those into things. That'll be super convenient. It's a nice clean setup. In terms of the engine, I ended up going with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. This is a twin turbo V6 and it is absolutely awesome so far. Uh, I haven't really put it through its paces too much. Again, I have under a thousand miles on the vehicle, so I don't want to be pushing it too hard until it's broken in a little bit more. But so far, I absolutely love it. It's got plenty of power. I think it's rated at about 315 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. So it's got some pretty decent giddy up for, uh, for a big old van like this. That engine combined with the transmission, it's the same engine and transmission that are in a lot of the F-150s and even some of the Mustangs. And it's a flawlessly smooth transmission. It shifts very cleanly. You don't feel any jerking. The end, the revs don't get all out of whack when it shifts. So it's, it's really a great combination. A couple other features I went with for the driver's side, I went with this 10 way heated seat. And I would say that's definitely a necessity. It's got, it's got the lumbar support that you can adjust there, slide it forward, backward, raise the seat, lean it back. You all know the deal. Um, so that was very important. I think it, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of driving with this, a lot of long distance at a time, and it's super important to be comfortable. Something else is I ended up going with the extended heated tow mirrors. And since you have zero visibility, you can't look out the side, like over your shoulder, like any other car. So even though I'm not going to be towing very often with this, they have been incredibly helpful to be able to see behind the vehicle and the side. So yeah, they're a little, a little ridiculous looking. It makes the vehicle very, very large, very wide, but, uh, definitely a nice feature to have. You can see if someone's 15 feet behind your bumper, you can see the edge of their car. So that's been very important. Trailer wiring provision. So I think we got, what is that? A set seven pin connector and then a four, yeah, four pin connector. In terms of handling performance on the highway, it does great. You can cruise easily at 75, 80 miles an hour. If it gets windy, you definitely feel it. Again, it's, it's a huge vehicle, very tall, big flat side. So it definitely catches the wind a little bit, but it's super stable. You don't feel like you're driving a big tank of a car. And again, with the engine, it, it accelerates very well. So merging is no problem whatsoever. <laughs> you can, you can very easily get up to speed when you need to. So yeah anyway i think that's about all there is to talk about in the vehicle so far so i'll end up posting this and then i'll post the build of the boards i installed in the back the boards wheel chalk tie down etc i've got a detailed build on that so i'll start out with that and then as i come up with more modifications to do to it i'll certainly keep you guys updated so let me know what you think in the comments, if you got any great ideas, uh, if you have any recommendations for people to follow who are trying to do a similar thing, that would be awesome. I've been looking up forms and YouTube videos and it's quite hard to find people who've done them, uh, done builds, moto, moto van builds specifically on uh, these newer transit vans. So if you know any good information about that, please let me know. And I think that's about it. So I hope you have an awesome day and thanks for watching.